In today's Sunday solution, we're going to show you how to get rid of those annoying white streaks from the roof of your RV. It's time for another Sunday solution. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, so what we have is oxidation on the roof. And every time it rains, that causes these white streaks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along with the 303 cleaner, multi-surface cleaner, and I'm going to wipe it down. So. Typically you want to wash it and scrub it with a heavy brush. We just had a wash not too long ago, but you can see the oxidation on my knees from a little bit, from the little bit that I've been on the roof. So I'm going to use the cleaner, clean it down, and then we're going to use the uh, 303 protectant, marine protectant. So this is the stuff I use for the final spray. And what you do is, typically what I'll do is I'll, I'll use the cleaner, wipe it down with that rag, or cleaner rag, you know, just for cleaning. And then I'll use the 303 protectant and wipe it down with another rag that's just for that. But I'm gonna try something new today because my knees are shot. And what I've done is I've taken the Swifter one of these battery powered ones that shoots the juice out as you need it. I emptied the contents and I put my 303 cleaner into that. Or protectant, I'm sorry. Put my 303 protectant into that. I'm gonna stick it in there. So I'll try to do half the job standing up. The other half will be on my knees. So I'll get started. I'm gonna start with the sides, the front and the rear. Just cleaning it. And then I'll start wiping it down with the protectant. And then we'll go from there. I'm probably gonna do a little bit, like 12 inches in too, while I'm here. Just to make my life easy. Right there, you can see the difference of the dirt, it's getting off. So the biggest thing is, when I touch it like that, it doesn't put any stuff on my hands. Whereas over here, I'm getting a dry out Over here, that's what it does. That's the stuff that's getting on your side of your rig. You can see how much it's taken off already. I haven't even touched it yet.
We're almost done with that part. But I found a crime scene. Y'all know if he made it or not. What do you think? <laughs> this is what you call destruction of evidence. So we're going to try this new part out. I don't know if it's going to be a fail or not. So we're gonna put our three of three in there and we're gonna go up front see how it works I've never done it this way but we'll see okay whoops got a little crazy with the trigger there Wipe down all the painted areas with this Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish. And we'll check back in when it's all finished. Got the sides done. Let's see here. All the way down. And then if I come back here, you'll see the roof. Got the front cap. The Meguiar's. And if you look back here in the sun, you can see the little marks maybe at least. I don't know if the camera will show it, but that's what you want. It'll leave streaks. That's what it does. That's how you know you got it all. So Again, I would, uh, I would use the Swifter again, but I'm going to use the cleaner instead of doing it on my knees. because That's the hardest part. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you out. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And click the subscribe and the uh, like button if you haven't done so. And uh, we'll see you in the next Sunday solution. Or the next video on Thursday uh, at 6 o'clock.